In this video, let's discuss the last solid principle, dependency inversion principle. We have already used it. Uh, the definition is one should depend upon abstraction, not on specific class. So let's go back to Unity and let me show you that we have already implemented this principle. Great. So when we go to our player input, we have this eye movement input interface. And our player is relying on this eye movement input. So we are relying on the abstraction. Thus we were able to implement the mobile input and place it on our player and use it without any issues. So if we go back to our canvas, re-enable our mobile input. Uh, this is a prefab, it is available inside the project files on GitHub repository. When we go back to our player, remove our player input and move our player mobile input. Our scripts should still have the reference to it, I believe. Uh, no, we need to drag it. So our mobile input player up, let's drag our player down, let's drag our player. Left, let's drag our player. And right, let's drag our player. So this is in the perfect setup. Interact, again, we need, will need to add the object player, function, player mobile, and we have interact input. And now we can press play, and we will be able to use again the mobile buttons uh, shown on the screen instead of using the keys. And this is the benefit of using the dependency inversion principle. So this allows us to give a script an abstract version of something and it can use it. And in this uh, case, we can add more functionality for this uh, game. So the mobile input by simply attaching a different implementation of this abstract eye movement input interface. And the same happens in our player AI interactions. So here when we are finding the hittable or where we are finding the NPC abstract class, we are using again the same dependency inversion principle. So player AI interactions depend on abstraction I hittable interface and on the uh, on the interface I hittable and on the abstraction NPC to call the interact and to inflict damage so to call get hit on those objects. And this is the definition of the dependency inversion principle. So to make our code more reusable, more closed for modification and open for extension, we are using the abstraction and we are using uh, depending on the abstraction instead of the concrete NPC classes or on the concrete objects that has get hit method. And thus our player AI interactions can work on multiple objects, multiple NPCs, and it will still work without us modifying the code. So this is the benefit and the purpose of dependency inversion principle to make sure that you rely on the abstraction. Okay, great. So that's it for our tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. I hope you have gained some insight on the solid principles. If you are enjoying my tutorials, I hope you will check out a link in the description to my Udemy course on making a 3D survival game in Unity. And I have an upcoming uh, course on making a 2D game by purchasing through my link, you would support this channel a lot. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next tutorial, take care.